welcome to the channel study electronics now we can discuss electronic instrumentation objectives part 6 first question a random noise generator produces a signal whose amplitude varies randomly so the random noise generator produces a signal has an amplitude which varies randomly next the input impedance of CRO cathode ray oscilloscope is nearly around 1 mega ohm. This is the value 1 mega ohm. Next, a signal of 10 millivolt at 75 megahertz is to be measured. Which of the following instrument can be used? So, a signal of 10 volt at 75 megahertz is measured by a cathode ray oscilloscope. Next question. Disc is made of what material in eddy current damping? So the disc is made up of conductive and non-magnetic material. Next question. The time interval between pulses. The time interval between pulses is called pulse delay. Next. An oscilloscope provides easy measurement of dash values. Oscilloscope provides peak to peak values. Next question, an element in electrons which serves as a protection against overload. So, the protection against overload, an element is used is fuse. Next, what sensor provides a DC voltage approximately 1 volt at 10 millivolt? Diode sensor. Next question, hot wire instrument has a dash scale squared hot wire instrument has a squared scale next question how many times base circuits does a dual tray CRO have one next holes are filled on the opposite sides of the disc of an induction type energy meter so holes are filled on the opposite side of an induction type meter to avoid creep of no load for no load conditions to in order to avoid creeping holes are filled on the opposite side of the disc of induction type energy meter next question the principle of operation of a lvdt is based on the variation of mutual inductance next question for time measurements dash scale of the scope is used hard so for time measurement Horizontal scale is used. Next, fluid friction damping is employed in one of the following. Fluid friction damping is used in Kelvin electrostatic altimeter. Next, what CRT element provides for control of the number of electrons passing further into the tube? Control grid. So, control of the number of electrons is provided by the control grid. Next, Rectifier moving coil instruments respond to average value. Rectifier moving coil instrument respond to average value. Next question. An average response rectifier type electronic AC voltmeter has a DC voltage of 10 volt applied to it. The meter reading will be. So if a DC voltage of 10 volt is applied to a rectifier type electronic AC voltmeter. The meter reading will show like this 100 ohm to 10 kilo ohm. So in between 100 ohm to 10 kilo ohm. Next, a polarized capacitor can be used only in DC circuits. Next, a sensing element that provides a DC voltage less than 10 millivolt with typical power range of 0.1 to 100 millivolt. That is thermal converters. Next, Shunts are generally made up of what material? Shunt is made up of manganese. Next, a dynamometer instrument is mainly used as watt meter. Next, a polarized electrolytic capacitor can be used only in DC circuits. So, polarized electrolyte capacitor is used in DC circuits. Next question, galvanometer type recorder uses ballistic galvanometer. Which of the following method has highest accuracy? Forcing a constant current and measuring the voltage across the 
are non resistant so this method has a highest accuracy forcing a constant current and measuring the voltage across the unknown resistance so that's all for today and um, please share and subscribe and join to the telegram channel and attend the quizzes thank you